Have I told you I'm a genius? Oh boy, here we go. Nine Hells. Now that's a guild name I can get behind. <laughs> no. Go away. Dungeoneering skill? Is this fucking RuneScape all of a sudden? We need to know what these cultists are searching for. Are there mind flayers in the tomb? I have a weird feeling there's mind flayers in the tomb. Situations like this feel so much better now that I've got an AoE. Uh. Wow, gravity really didn't affect that guy very much. Oh, I have an arcana skill. Okay. Sweet. No! Stop randomly inviting me to groups! It's so annoying! I realise now that they probably did it by mistake like I did last video. Oh good, I have a very, very, very tattered cloak. Don't I look cool? Harper Windle has knowledge of the tomb's physical locks, but there is also a metaphysical one. I'm afraid you will have to travel to the Shadowfell to trip this final lock. Add this powder to the eternal flame in Craftsman's Rest to open a portal to the Shadowfell. Right. Will do. Uh, I absorbed about 10% of that. This might be the only MMO I don't feel guilty for skipping groups of mobs in. Because <laughs> mobs don't give you XP. XP isn't a thing. You get level ups from quests. It's very weird. I had a feeling. I had a feeling that would be a mimic, even though I knew that mimics weren't in this game. Ooh. Oh, it's a good kind of mimic, the one that actually drops loot when it dies. I like that kind of mimic. <laughs> it's a very good mimic. Oh, hello. Big scary evil cubes. I keep thinking my um, action points gem at the bottom middle of the screen there is my life points bar and going, <gasps> Oh, alright. <laughs> Thanks, Diablo. Good god, her voice acting is oh, so bad. Hello again. Hi. Hi. Shoff the Tomb Queen. Look, here's the deal, right? I didn't come here for you. Uh, and you clearly seem okay to leave me alone, so how about I just leave and you just live here for the rest of your days and don't hurt anyone? Sound good? It's not like anyone else is coming back down here. I don't know why I have to kill you. What do you say? Nope, apparently not. Okay. Let's do... What a shame, Shoff. I really thought we could have worked this out, but... Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Cool. Oh, hey, I got an achievement for that. Nice. Have I told you I'm a genius? Yes, Christopher, you have. Well, that certainly looks weird. I think I'm gonna... hide my helmet now. I'm assuming that's something you can do. No? Oh dear. Okay, this is what I look like now. Oh wait, I've just realised how I can fix my appearance. If I go to, I'm assuming this is how this works, to my hat here, convert to appearance library item, uh, go down to head, change appearance item to the hat. Hey, there we go. There we go. Oh wait, I've just realised that costs premium currency, never mind. I know that you can earn these now at this point, but I don't know how frequently or how easily you can earn them. So I'm still reserving my judgement on whether that's uh, a good transmog system or a bad transmog system. <laughs> if it's easy to get a thousand zen crystals or whatever the hell they are, then fine. If, if it's not, then blech. Oh yeah, don't I get an achievement for that? Like an achievement achievement. That should be an achievement achievement, right? Reach level 5 with one character, yeah. Hey, I didn't get my achievement! <laughs> I want my money back! There it is. I was just looking up to see if it was bugged. Oh, I got a horse! I got a horse from my... I mean, I assume these are randomized, so this will be the most unique mount I have so far, right? Do you require my assistance? Apparently. The, 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 the sparkly path led me to you, so I assume I require your assistance. Using a psycho will bestow the blessings of a god upon you for the next 15 minutes. I see. I don't really, but you know, I'll get there I'm sure. Maybe I, maybe my second character will be a dwarf because when you put them in a helmet and stuff they look suitably dwarfy. It's just when their heads are all naked 
And you can see their squished Jamie Lannister looking heads that they look weird. Do you need something? Apparently the um, sparkly thing led me to you. Are you aware you have a floating mug in front of you? And also that your your skirt's clipping through your leg. If you need a companion or have any questions about companions, then you've come to the right place, my friend. How can I help you? Nobody told me they were sending me to a brothel. Which companion would you like me to tell you about? So my choices are man at arms, apprentice healer, wayward wizard, dog. The dog specializes <laughs> in dealing melee damage to a single enemy at a time. I'll have him. The magics wielded by the apprentice healer are not limited to causing damage. They use this magic to close your wounds. No shit. Like all companions, you will need to keep its equipment up to date. I'm going to assume the healer's the way to go, because... You know, I'm playing solo. I don't have any healing spells. I'm going to go for healer as much as I would love to have a dog. Why can't we have a healer dog? Companions. Why do I have no companions summoned? Manage all companions. What? I have a companion in my collections, but he's not equipped. Oh, is he in my fucking bags? The way this game does it, collection stuff is so weird. He is. He's in my bags. <laughs> I had a man in my bags. Oh, I have to name him? Oh, no. Oh, no. He's called Trembles. Oh, no. Fuck it. That's his name. Um. Done. Trembles, where are you? So, collections just shows me stuff. But for whatever reason. Oh. Yeah, take summon. Here he is. Here's Trembles. Uh. Oh, there's different appearances. Okay, this is interesting. I like this. Hey, Trembles. You're going to be joining me on my journey. I know you tremble every time you get into combat, but it's okay. We'll we'll get you grown out of it. I'm not sure you'll ever grow out of that nickname, though. I'll probably have to spend some real-life money to change that nickname. Hello there! What can I help you with? Um, how do I remove you from the game? Many of the items that your companions can equip can be modified with rune stones. If you happen to come across any in your travels, it would be worth your while to place them in your companion's gear. Never talk to me again. So you wish to learn about seals? I guess. So be it. If you have enough of these seals, merchants will sell you wares specific to the area that you are in. Isn't it ethically problematic to be using live animals as currency? I have several pieces of equipment and other goods that I would be willing to part with if you can offer enough seals. I just can't get that image out of my head of like actual little seals being thrown at him. Oh right, you need to buy key- oh, I fucking forgot about that annoying ass. Alright, never mind then, I just wasted some of my astral diamonds. I was like, wow, that seems like a really good deal on those lot boxes of justice that you can get mounts out of. No, it's just it's just one of the currencies of the two, and one of them's not earnable. To elaborate, I think it's fine for free-to-play games to earn money by selling mounts and stuff for a game store, but don't make it like a loot box randomized style system, and, and don't do the Counter-Strike thing where you can earn the box and then you just need to buy a key to open it because then it's tantalizingly in your inventory. I'm not a huge fan of that. Return them to the cairn of the honored dead on the south side of the Forsworn camp. My people have fallen on um, hard times from the strife in this land. Your voice changed again. I would let them go out and hunt by themselves, but I fear for their safety. What was the voice? Help. Do we have any seals to bring? <laughs> Mate, enough of the seals. You've got a problem. You honor the dead. Oh, you honor the dead. That was weird. Oh. I just got this for no reason. I guess there's some kind of event on which gives him to you for free. So I got a red wizard that I can use as a companion now. This is interesting because I'm also playing Elder Scrolls Online at the same time and they've only just added companions and there's only two in the game. In this one, there's quite a few. Oh god, I need to name him right now. Fuck, I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> I forgot this is how this works. Let's call him Dalroth Mordron. Because, I don't know, it popped into my head and it seems like a name that you'd see in this world. Sure. The bandits hiding in the Zinkar ruins to the west have no respect for the Uthgart ways. They trespass in our sacred places and take what they please. They must be punished for their transgressions. Take the path southwest of the sacred pool and cross the bridge to the Zinkar ruins. Slay the bandits. 
This feels like one of those things where it's a meeting that could have been an email. Just, just tell me to kill the bandits. I'll kill the bandits. Could you fight something with a big club? Was that you, Trembles? Did you just say something to me? I do like the little red dots above their names. That shows you how powerful they are. That's a nice little feature because I know which one to hoist into the air first. A wondrous sprocket. Wait, that's gonna bug me. What the hell is that? Special refinement. Ow! Oh, I'm stood on a trap. <laughs> Former Red Wizard of Illusion who values reality less than the illusions he creates. Wow. Oh, hi. How's it going, buddy? You seem like someone I can reason with. Hey, so we don't have to fight. Okay, never mind. Do you ever read a law book and then realize none of it went into you? <laughs> Wait, you can upgrade mounts? What does that do? Oh, it costs Zen coins. Yeah. I'm slightly concerned about this. It does seem like there's a lot of stuff you can buy on the Zen store which increases your combat capabilities. Uh, I don't know if this is kind of a pay to win game. Um, if I can just adventure without feeling like I'm falling behind because I'm not spending money then I'm good with it I guess. Because I don't care about PvP. You are not blessed by Uthgar, so you must first speak with the wizard staying in our camp. You know, I'm a wizard too. You don't need to be so surprised that wizards exist. That's all oh, I've got points available. This time, I'm going to put them into wisdom. Mm. Intelligence, Jesus. Why do I keep getting that mixed up? You'll see I put it in intelligence. And charisma. Again, I'm not sure what's meta. Um, I have since the last video learned that the amount of Zen coins it costs. Zen coins. The amount of um, gems or whatever it costs to retrain ability scores isn't actually that bad. So basically my plan is go with what seems right and then if I get really into this game, uh, like endgame or whatever, then I'll reassess this sheet and then probably uh, redo it. Oh my god, they've all aggroed on trembles. <laughs> I guess he's a tank now. Thanks mate. Jesus Christ, you might have locked boxes of justice that I'm getting. I don't care, I'm not buying the keys. With his voice silenced, perhaps the rest of the tribe can be swayed to rise up against the Netherese. It is time to oh take God. the battle to the heart <laughs> of the enemy. No matter how many times their voices change, I never get used to it. I will aid you on this path of the spirits, and you will have an awakening. I oh. hope you are ready to awaken. No, actually, I like to sleep in late. Rage against the dying of the light. Yeah, I read that poem too. Hey, my cape doesn't suck now, and it actually matches, kind of. I don't know, I think it's a slightly different colour? It's hard to tell in this lighting. I don't know what this is. I don't know why I'm suddenly picking these up. I'm guessing it's an event that's on or something. Breath of Forest Heart. It's such like a generic, this lady is a druid the kind of person name, but... This game's throwing so many companions at me to name, but I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna have to fucking throw whatever comes first. She's a healer too, so I should probably be using her. So Freya's gonna be hanging out with us for a while. Hey Freya, how's it going? I've just realized his claws are clipping through his hand when he clenches his fist. Hey, thanks for watching. I just wanted to put at the end of this video that the first one had an absolutely lovely response um, and I'm going to be trying to put out Neverwinter videos fairly regularly for a while but just know that I am a variety kind of content maker um, so I apologise if I'm not going to like main on Neverwinter. I'm not going to like force myself to play a game if my attention span wanders elsewhere which it inevitably will but all the same. I'm going to try and keep Neverwinter content fairly frequently for you guys in the near future so keep an eye out for that. Thank you for stopping by and having a watch and I hope you're doing well.